Augmented reality is close to having everyday integration into our lives, even if people don't realize it, which is why I'm in Philadelphia at Drexel University's Urban Center, where there are thousands of real but invisible messages all around me. About to eat some really good food. If you haven't tried it, try Cucina. It's a great food truck. It's a new AR software called TalkDrop, where anybody can leave a hidden message for anybody to listen to or record based on a specific location. I'm here to talk to one of the founders and developers of TalkDrop, Phoebe Boss. TalkDrop is an augmented reality app that uses your phone's camera to localize to a specific object, in this case, the drop zone right here. Um, after localizing to the object, it begins pulling in all of the voice messages from our database and populating them in the space around you. As long as you have an iPhone, you can use our app, you can listen to any of the voice messages left, and you can record your own and place it anywhere you'd like for the future. Bro, we're living in the future now. Like, this is it. AR is the future. What's doing is telling you to like go up to the object, ideally, scan the object to localize. Once it's localized, we have an onboarding bubble that says tap to start that initializes the experience. Yo, Brendan, what's up? Yo, 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 what's good? And then they begin populating in. You'll just watch them slowly. There's hundreds of them, so it takes a while. You can watch them pop in. You can just see them start to populate, all these people that have left messages. A common misconception people have with the software, or students, or people entering this area, is that it's not QR code based at all. It simply relies on your phone's camera to pick up on any sort of object, for instance, this three-dimensional object, in the real world. And once it finds that object, it geolocates itself and then will populate any messages or items left in this space. So it's not QR code based. It's simply the phone reading a three-dimensional object, and it can be any object in the world, and then it'll populate any items left in that space digitally. All right, you wanna show me how to leave one of these voice messages? We'll, yeah. leave a, we'll leave a one just for you guys. If you guys come here, you can listen to it, okay? All right. Hey guys, this is the secret message from the Bost Wiki video that we're gonna place in here. Bye. That works. All right, now show how to replace it in 3D space. Well, just find out wherever you want to place it. You can only place it within certain proximity to some bubbles. So if it's too close, it won't allow you to place it. Yeah. I got yours. You did. But figure out where you want to place it and just, there you go. And now? It's there in 3D space. You can walk away, come back later. Other people can listen to it. Now, will that stay there for like infinity? Or how long do those messages last? Forever. 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 I'm going to talk about because I think integrating the digital and the physical in this way is super interesting, especially because it's designing for a totally new paradigm of interaction. So all those colored circle messages you saw on the phone were left by real people. But it can go beyond just messages and voices. The idea is to eventually to video and digital objects. So from transferring files to photos to even leaving cryptocurrencies, you could theoretically do with this software in augmented reality. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe. Bye.